I just want to show what it's like to push it. It's a little bit of, you can hear it's turning the motor, but it's, you can push it. It's just uh, not freely going. So we take this off. Um, let's see if we can show them. I think I tie wrapped it. Um, tie wrapped it there too. All right, I'm going to see if I can do this without. I put labels on everything. So the front light cable, yellow is going to red. And the black, obviously the black. And I cannot tell you which cable that is, but that's that one. All right. Then this is the brake. This is the brake that I installed. Uh, this one is going to... Red is going to green. And black is going to black. Okay. And this one is... Forward reverse. So my forward reverse is going to yellow i'm sorry yellow to yellow black to red okay got that yep all right so that takes care of those three this one obviously the motor i think going to yellow red to yellow blue to black oh, this is gonna be so hard to get to all these uh, this one is what this is the brake light brake light is red to red and green to black. Okay, got that. That's the brake light. Now, I did not use, I think this was the, this is the power button. Did not use the power button. Okay, not connected to anything. This is the throttle. This is probably the important one right here. All right, so I got red to red. Get my fingers out of the way. Red to red, black to black, blue to green. Red to red, black to black, blue to green. Coolio, you can see the colors there? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now we're missing from the back. This is my the cable for the um, battery thank you battery that, whatever <laughs> that's pretty obviously red red black and black Just screw that up you're screwed and i did not use whatever that is <coughs> that says something in chinese <laughs> but that's i can a, read it it's what does that say in chinese Oing, ching, chin, ching. all right that's yellow black and red i did not use and i did not use it says charger. Okay, so we're charging it through the Tesla charger. I'm not charging it through this here. Um, I think that's all of them. Did I go through them all? Wait, what is this one down here? I didn't go through this one. This is the high-low. Oh, that's my on-off switch. I ended up using my high-low switch on the back for my on-off switch. So that one is blue to blue to blue. <laughs> so, sorry. Wait, what the? Blue, I know, I messed that wrong. Blue to blue. And then red to blue. It's just really on off. So it's just making a momentary versus a connected switch. I don't think that really matters if you get that backwards. Uh, that's it. Right? Did I miss any? Looks like there's a hundred million cables in there, so nope. I know, I think I got them all. Yeah, I got them all. Well, okay. let's see. Let's just at least send that through and see how they got that one done. Oh, and let's look. Wait, did you show them the Ford in reverse? Here, look. This guy was saying something about 24 volts. Get the, you definitely get that down there, right here. So this is the definitely 36 volt. Uh, see if we can get the light. Oh, there it goes. 36 volt, 500 watt. Let's back mm -hmm. up a little bit. Let's see if they can match up. All right, back up a little bit. Let's That's see. good. Okay, we got it. Now back up a little bit and then um, get get all this in here. The controller has reversible warning. The vehicle must be at full and complete stop before switching from forward to reverse or from reverse to forward. Otherwise, this controller may become damaged. Um, anyway, that's what ours looks like. I got it bolted down in there, so I can't really pull it out. Uh, oh, wait. Stay right there. Let me get the paper. I don't know why that, why that person said that he thought I had a thirty, a 24 volt. Oh, here, get this right here. This is the instructions. Here, here, I'll send it. I'll send it. You didn't film, you filmed it the whole way like that? You didn't film it sideways? Look, 36 volt right here. My finger? Yep. 
Okay, 36 volts. A little bit over 36 volts. 500 amps, 20, I mean, 500 watts, 25 amps. Rated for chargers that we've been charging. So, under voltage protection is 31. So, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they may be dropping under voltage or something in plus or minus one volt. So, it could be like 30 volts or 32 volts. Recommend fuse one is 30 amps. I'm not going to fuse it. You probably should. Uh, dimensions of putting the mounting tabs. Well, there's really no under voltage battery. When the battery pack falls below a specific voltage, if the charger turns the motor off, preventing over discharging of the battery pack when extending the lifespan of the battery pack, the cutoff voltage is approximately 31 volts. Okay, so to me, what I, my understanding what that is is if you're driving around and you hit 32 volts or less, then it will no longer engage the motor. Um, so that means it, so to prevent you from draining your battery and killing the battery. So I, that can't be it. Uh, motor cut off during braking. When the brakes are engaged, the brake switch signals the controller to turn off the motor. Yeah, see again, I don't, I don't think that's like uh, braking the motor or freezing the motor. That's the, I don't know how, I don't know what they could have done. They probably just cut the power to it. Or they may just have a bad controller. I doubt it would be a bad motor. Or the motor just wouldn't spin. I mean, I would think a motor just works or it doesn't. I think it's got to be the it's maybe a controller. I mean, maybe there is some wiring that you could do to freeze it up somehow. I don't know. Power connector should be the last connector made. The fuse or circuit breaker protection should be installed between the speed control and the battery pack, which I didn't. Optional connectors do not need to be hooked up. Yeah. Just control it operate. Well, buddy. We have no fuse, so if your booty lights up on fire, just jump off. Okay. <laughs> and this is all we do. So this is how we charge ours. I, I got a guy maybe might send us this thing. So this, I don't know what this bracket should look like. I know if you have this piece that I can screw down here um, and get this part. Hey, look, you see these screws? Yeah. You might be able to like put a hole in that somehow where it won't affect it and like bolt it down. No, see, I think his, his is, um, uh, he sent me a picture of it and I saw it. And I think, that could be wrong. See, this is what we started with right here. That is way too thick, way too fat. That will not work. What did I do with that? So I bought another one and the other ones are thin, but there are four of them. And I've noticed that I can, I'm pretty sure I can break those independent ones out that are thin. If he sends me that, I can 3D model up the other bracket. We just slide those in and that would work. The question is, is what did I do with it? I probably left it in the office. This is all the small stuff that I'm going to do with it. Yeah, yes. All right, okay, why don't you stop that video in the wall? Oh, yeah, I got a cyber car back.